I'm here with Lori Coleman. She is a small miner in the uh, Membres Peak National Monument proposed area in southern New Mexico in the area of Deming. There has been an uh, effort underway to create a 245,000-acre national monument that would essentially put Lori out of business. Uh, we're going to have an update from Lori because this is the time when, obviously, we've had a, a very controversial pardon of Hunter Biden. This is also when uh, frequently presidents put large tracts of land off limits uh, to folks who have been using it for generations. Uh, welcome back, Lori. And uh, can you share what you are hearing and where things seem to be heading with this proposed Membres Peak National Monument? Yes, good morning, Paul. Thanks for having me. Um, recently, what came about is there's a land swap going on that is um, dealing with lands that are included in the Oregon Peaks National Monument outside of Las Cruces, which is the group that's trying to push through the Membres Peaks National Monument in Luna County. They're trying to swap land, 70,000 acres, that is within the monument that is not a BLM land. They want the monument lands to become all BLM land. So they're doing a swap with the New Mexico State Land Office. So the people who own um, mining claims or grazing rights within those areas of land would be affected. Um, there's a different um, scale, pay scale, when you're dealing with the state land office in New Mexico rather than the federal land, um, which is BLM. We're hoping that um, this is not their way of trying to sneak through and um, get this monument land designated in Luna County by doing something like this. They're using something called the Dingle Act. Um, I'm not affluent on the Dingle Act, but at this point, um, that they'll try anything. They're still not bringing the stakeholders in Luna County to the table to discuss this monument. Someone like me, also like the grazers, um, or even our community in general. So it's it's very concerning. Well, uh, I can say that Dingle re probably refers to either John Dingle, who uh, was a Democrat from Michigan for many, many decades, or his daughter, maybe white, I, I think maybe daughter, uh, Debbie Dingle, who currently represents that same area in Congress, also from Michigan, not a, not an area of a lot of federal land, certainly not like New Mexico. So uh, what are we talking about here? Uh, the original proposal was for 245,000 acres uh, to become a national monument uh, known as the Membres Peaks National Monument. Uh, any idea what the size of this land swap could could be and how it would be designated, uh, it, the land that they're mostly concerned about? Well, it's it, it, the land swap right now is 70,000 acres is my understanding. Um, it, it hit the table back in August, um, and it involves lands um, in three counties, um, Luna, Grant, um, Doña Anna, there may be one other county. So basically they're taking land in Luna County, redesignating it so that land in the Oregon Peaks Monument can become BLM land. And then that track in Luna County would become state land. Um, so far, none of my areas have been affected, but there are individuals that hold grazing leases in Luna County that would be affected. Okay, so um, the and uh, you mentioned uh, before we sat down that a monument designation, as we've seen in the past, uh, could be potentially overturned by the incoming administration, aka uh, Donald Trump, who uh, has been willing to do that in the past. Uh, a land swap doesn't uh, work the same way. Is that correct? Correct. So a monument can be undone um, if it's done by the Biden administration on his way out. It can be undone by the Trump administration as they come in. And we would just have to wait and see if that would be done. Hopefully it would be. Um, but in a swap, 
that's not something that the president can come in and undo. That is a, an agreement between two agencies, a state agency and a federal agency. And uh, not reversible. Right, not reversible. All right. Well, uh, is there anything, uh, I mean, I know you're watching this situation very closely and watching it unfold. Do you have any idea, you know, obviously Biden can, Biden could sign this the day on his way out the door, the day of the inauguration. Um, do you have any idea what, you know, what time frame we're looking at uh, any day, any week? Um, All we can do is just keep, keep our eyes and ears open and try to keep a pulse of what's going on in Washington. We're so far removed out here in New Mexico. Um, and we have a governor that's not um, supporting our efforts at all. Um, and this, you know, this, all I can continue to say is that this is being pushed by a group out of Las Cruces. Um, the Luna County residents have really not had a say in this. Um, the majority of the folks there are against it. Um, there's a group called the Friends of the Floridas that are pushing it because they don't want mining. Um, you know, once again, I'm a miner. It's it's not a bad thing. It's how I support my business and my family and my children. And if we don't extract it or grow it, then we get to buy it from China. And so I just ask these individuals that are pushing this out of Las Cruces to bring us to the table. It's been a year now since they came up with this idea and had their announcement. And we just asked to be brought to the table. All right. Is there any thing that we can... Uh do about this or is this just kind of a uh, uh, kind of a deal where the administration will do whatever they darn well please uh, to support their political interests their agenda that's all we can do is just keep being the squeaky wheel um and and that's that's what I'm gonna do is keep being the squeaky wheel and Paul your efforts in supporting us um, through your tipping point has been wonderful and we really we all appreciate it so much. Well, thank you, Lori. I appreciate uh, your leadership on this and keep us posted. Uh, we'd be glad to have you back uh, whenever this shakes loose or maybe hopefully does not shake loose. But uh, obviously, this is an open question until action is taken or Inauguration Day, whatever comes first. And uh, before I let you go, there's, uh, of course, uh, episode 571 of Tipping Points. New Mexico. Uh, you can find it at tippingpointsnm.com. Uh, I had a full conversation with you about all the ins and outs of this particular monument and more background on yourself, etc. So if folks want more information on this, they can go there. Anything else you would recommend, any other information you would point folks towards uh, if they're interested in this particular issue? Yes, you can go to our nomembersmonument.org. You can sign our petition and you can read about um, the facts of the situation, how this land is already available to the public, um, how you already have access, um, how these how these lands are taken care of. Um, you can follow us on social media, No Members Monument. Um, we have regular updates on what's going on and information to help educate the public. And that's... M I M B R E S. Um, yes. Membranes, no uh, not being a word that's readily understood or spelled by lots and lots of people, but uh, that is no membranes monuments.org. All right. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, Lori. And uh, I know you'll keep us informed and uh, we'll be thinking about you and praying for uh, Biden to let this, let this thing pass and not, uh, take more land out of circulation and use. So appreciate yes, all you're you, doing. Paul. Thank all you. All right. Thanks okay. for listening. Right. Take care and we'll, we'll talk to you later. Okay.